Hey friends, it's Sarah here. I am right in the middle of getting all of my 2020 um, project pans finished up and you know, the, uh, the videos filmed and edited and posted for you, but I saw this video from Paula maybe yesterday and I just had to post my own. So Paula from A Beauty Guru made me do it. She, this girl cracks me up. Paula, hey, huge shout out to you, girl. You, y'all come up with some of the craziest and most fun things. Um, so the video that I watched of Paula's yesterday was the hashtag 2020 Project Pan Roast. And essentially, Paula roasted herself because she had these projects, uh, or she had these items in Project Pans and she was not able to finish them. So, I have my share, and that is what I'm gonna be sharing with you today. So, let's go ahead and check out my very first annual hashtag 2020 Project Pan Roast. Okay, so my first item, I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a little bit of grace on this one. Maybe I should have finished this one up, but this is a really heavy bottle and I can never tell how much is in it. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I started out the year with a brand new bottle and I really did think I was gonna finish it off. It was in Oh Christmas Pan, so I thought I was gonna have it finished by Christmas. That did not happen, so. It is going to go in a project this year, but you know, I, I just, I don't know. I don't have any reason other than I have no idea how much is still left in the bottle. The next item is this one here. This is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Hardener, and I just use this as a base coat. Well, let me say, I should use this as a base coat. I cannot remember a single time in 2020 that I actually did my nails. I think maybe once, but I don't actually remember. This has been in a project polish literally for, I don't know, two, three years running. Um, and you can see where I marked it to start 2020, and it's still there. I don't think I've used it once. I don't know. <laughs> Next, we have um, next, let's go ahead and you show you this item. This is the Studio Makeup Blush in the shade Sahara. You guys know I have been working on this for literal ages. Um, my goal was only to hit pan, and I still have not. So this started out in um, Throwback 30, which started in May of 2019. I have used it since then and I have still not hit pan. I don't know, I, there are no excuses, there is no rationale, <laughs> I don't know, I, I don't know. You guys, next, so where are we at? I had seven items, so this is number four. <sighs> you guys, the Moroccan Oil Dry Texture Spray. This is .7 ounces of product. Again, this was in a year-long project, and again, I didn't use it one single time. Um, but in my defense, I don't know how to use this. Dry texture spray, I don't know what that means. I know hairspray, and I know dry shampoo. I'm not really that hair follicularly inclined. I don't know, I, I don't know, I'm terrible with hair. You see it the same way every day. It's either straightened or it's in a bun. That's all I got. <laughs> Every now and then I'll curl it, but I try not to put too much heat on my hair. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe it needs heat setting. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, now we're into my top three, y'all. Okay, you're gonna feel my pain here. Um, I just talked about this. Seriously, this damn Clinique freaking bronzer. This is the Clinique True Bronzer in the shade 02 Sunkiss. This started out brand new on January 1st of 2019. I wanted to finish it off. Didn't happen, never even hit pan. So then in 2020, I said, I just wanna use half of it. Never hit pan. I literally hit pan on this about three weeks ago. 
and that's as far as I've gotten. I don't know, y'all. You know it's coming back. Um, you know it's coming back. That's all I can say. Number two, why is this still in here? This should have been done two weeks ago. I saved this because I was going on vacation and I thought, oh, I've only got like three or four more uses in it. And, um, oh, this is the It Cosmetic CC Cream. My shade is in medium. I saved it because I was going on vacation. I didn't want to have to take two foundations. So like, I'm gonna take this, but I'm gonna be gone for a few days. So I'm gonna run out of this. So I need a replacement. So I stopped using it all together for like a week and a half. And then I got back from vacation and it's still been going for like almost two weeks. So I don't know y'all, I don't know. My number one item in my project pan roast. How many of y'all saw this coming? It's the Soiree Diaries palette by Pure Cosmetics. Y'all, this has been my pan that palette for two years. And this is where I finished off the year. And I do not know, they're like, I think average size pans and I don't really know why it has taken me so long to use it. I'm not that creative with my eyeshadows apparently because it just takes me forever to use them. I don't know, I think I had beginner's luck in 2018 with my Pan That palette because those were super dusty shadows and I finished off that entire palette within a year. So I had really high hopes for this one and I did not meet my expectations. So guys, I hope you will join me and join Paula. If you check out Paula's video, which I will have linked down below, give her a huge shout out and tell her that I sent you. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna post your own video, be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know. I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye.